Good morning, my brothers and sisters, coming to you from the great Pacific Northwest. We truly serve an awesome God, a God who is much greater than our minds can understand, but a God who loves us individually and calls us by name. Praise God for that. A word of encouragement comes from Proverbs chapter 19, verse 21. Many are the plans in a man's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. You know, as I read these words this morning, I have to be honest, uh, this is supposed to be a daily word of encouragement, and yet my heart is heavy. My heart is heavy for the people of Afghanistan. Uh, I, I don't know what's really going on there. Of course, all we see is what's on the news, on our cell phones, um, you know, on, on the internet, those type of things. Uh, and yet we know that it's got to be a scary, uh, in some ways, dire situation. Um, I was you know, reminded yesterday that, that we've been there about 20 years now. Um, we've been providing some, some, some kind of freedom and security at some level. Uh, some of those young people there don't even really know what it means uh, to not have the presence of the U.S. providing that freedom and now being overrun so quickly by the Taliban. Um, and, of course, uh, their, uh, their law that they're going to try to impose and, and the devastation come from it. And in my heart, although I would hope it's not the case, I, I'm pretty sure that there's going to be those who are persecuted uh, and killed for their faith in Jesus Christ. Um, and yet, we, we, we come to this question, why? Why does this have to happen? And so, when I read this verse this morning, I thought, you know, uh, we don't always understand how or why do, God does things, but we understand that God has a plan and a purpose. Uh, and even though the Taliban think they're in charge, uh, they are making the decisions they want to make, God is still ultimately in charge. And God has a plan. Uh, and we may not understand that plan in our lifetime, um, but God does have a plan. And God's plan will be to save and protect his people. Um, that may mean taking them to heaven. It may mean uh, things, that, again, that we don't understand. But those who know Jesus as their personal Savior uh, in Afghanistan uh, will be with him, either in the days to come because of this persecution or because God provides him in another way. Now, uh, my prayer uh, is God's will be done, of course, but, but that God will reach in and protect those uh, who belong to him and belong to us, really. They're part of our, our family. You know, at the same time, you may be struggling with what's going on here in America today. Uh, maybe you have some loss in your life that you're struggling with. Uh, maybe you have some uh, some situations in your life that are beyond your control or not your fault. Um, and we want to go back to a verse like this and remember that God always prevails. We can't always, it's not always our, our fault. It's not always our choice. It's not always um, something we can control when we, talk, when we talk about the situations we're in, whether it be financial, work-related, family business, whatever the case, it's not always under our control. Sometimes we are affected by other people. But we can know that God is always in charge. And so with heavy hearts, we, we give, simply give ourselves to God. Uh, we give ourselves over understanding that, that we have a lack of knowledge, a lack of wisdom in what God is doing, but trusting that He is in charge and has a plan, even in our own lives. Praise God for that. Father God, thank you for this day. Thank you, Lord, that, that we can come before you even with heavy hearts. Father, this morning my heart goes out for the people of Afghanistan and the surrounding areas uh, as they are, as their freedoms are being overrun, as the, the, the Taliban are taking over, uh, as I'm sure there's uh, many scared Christians and, and maybe even some persecution that's taking place or going to take place. And yet, Lord, we know that you are God that you are in charge, that your will will prevail. And although we don't always understand what that will is, uh, and you may reveal it to us and you may not, Father, we give you praise and we trust that you have a plan. Father, be with the people of Afghanistan today and may your plan prevail as we know it will. May people look to you, may they be drawn to you, may they give their lives to you in the midst of the chaos there. At the same time, Lord, we pray for the chaos here. We pray, oh God, that you would be that we know that you're in control, that you that your plan is prevailing. Father, as we think of, of COVID and uh, rearing its ugly head again and, and the things going on with that, that we just aren't sure or don't know, Father, we give it to you and we trust you that you have a plan. Father, for those who are dealing with loss and grief, Father, uh, who, and don't understand, Father, we, 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 we wish things were different and yet we know that you have a plan. Father, for those who are struggling in other areas of life, maybe in their finances or in their health or in other areas, Father, all we can do is simply give them to you and give you praise because we know that you have a plan. Father, the plan that we do know for sure, the thing that we know about you is that, we, that you have promised never to leave us nor forsake us if we choose you as Savior and that you promise us a reward in heaven someday. So, Lord, today we simply give you this day and we want to honor you in all that we do. We thank you for what's to come and we pray, oh God, for those who are hurting May your hand of love and support and mercy be upon them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 
But there you have it. God loves you. God loves all of his creation, even the Taliban or those that we would see as enemies of God. Uh, let's pray today for all that, that, that God would just touch them. And let's today uh, be thankful for what God is doing for us. Especially today, let's pray for the Christians in Afghanistan and those world areas that may be struggling with persecution as they just need God's love to surround them. Have a great day. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow.